Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin. And today we're going to be uh, smoking some uh, beef ribs on the little tailgater. I've got it warming up right now, just starting up. And uh, I've got to tell you, a little while back, we I've got a brother-in-law in Odessa, Texas. So the only place I wanted to go while we were there was over to Midland, to Midland Meat Company, uh, Meat Market. And uh, while we were there, of course, I had to pick up some short ribs. Now, on the freezer door, it said Wagyu short ribs. I'm like, awesome, I'm gonna grab those. They came in a two pack, <clears throat> just like this. But now that I've got it home, it just says beef short ribs. It doesn't say Wagyu, but look at the marbling. I'm pretty sure the freezer door was correct and when they uh, labeled them, they just weren't. And this too, so I'm gonna smoke these up for me, myself and my wife tonight. It's morning right now, but it's probably gonna take anywhere from five to eight hours to cook these up. I'm gonna be using some uh, brisket tallow that I made and uh, as, a, as a binder for these, since they are so trimmed up, there's really no fat cap on there. And of course, while we were there, I mean, they don't sell beef short ribs or dino ribs or anything like that here in uh, New Mexico where I'm at. So, you know, I mean, I had to pick up some dino ribs. Can you see the size of those? <laughs> Let's show a little bit of a comparison in size. All right, so you will be seeing these in an upcoming video. I don't know how soon, but soon enough. All right, so I'm gonna turn my little Pit Boss tailgater up to 250 degrees. Uh, once it warms up, I'm using Bear Mountain bourbon pellets. I love those pellets. So uh, as soon as it gets warmed up, we'll bring these out and get them on. But right now, let's go uh, show you what seasoning I'm going to use on them. All right, so here's my short ribs. There's the bottom membrane. I'm just going to leave that on there. There's just two ribs. It's no big deal. I'm going to use some Meat Church Holy Cow as my, as my rub for these tonight. And I'm going to use some brisket tallow that I made as my binder. There's no fat cap on here, so this brisket tallow is going to work out perfect. I'm just going to spoon some on top, and then I'm just going to use my hands after this and just rub it all in. Just want to get the top, the side, the bottom really doesn't matter. That's all a little fat anyway. Okay, and then once you get it all rubbed over, then I'm going to add my Meat Church Holy, Vo holy Cow Rub. <laughs> Not the Holy Voodoo. So I'm going to put some on the bottom. You don't have to put a whole lot. And then you just want to get all the sides. Piece of cake, right? Man, if you haven't tried this holy cow rub yet, this stuff is excellent for meat, uh, for steaks, for brisket, just about anything. It's nice, thick pepper to it. It's just really good. Okay, just finish it off here. A little extra on top. And there you go. Nice and seasoned. Let's get this outside. All right, here we go. There are my Wagyu short ribs with some brisket tallow and uh, meat church. Holy cow. I got my uh, little tailgater is heated up. It's ready to rock and roll. You might ask, well, why am I using my tailgater and not my Lone Star Grills pellet grill? Because <laughs> they're just two short ribs. Plus, this little, pellet, this little tailgater right here, it's got a five pound hopper. I've got it full right now. And that hopper at 250 will probably go at least four hours. 225, I think I've gone five to six hours. So I'll keep an eye on it and, and I'll add them as, as needed. We're doing, this could be anywhere from five to eight hours. If it's eight hours, you know, I might use eight pounds of pellets. Let's get them on, let's get this good going. And uh, here we go. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna set these over on this side. Uh, I believe this is the thicker side right here, facing the fire pot for now. And, uh, you know, I may come and rotate these every now and then, but for now, we're going to let this roll for at least the next couple hours. All right, here they are. Look at the smoke this little tailgater puts off. All right, we'll be back. All right, we are at the two hour mark. Oh, we're already getting a little bit of pull back there. They're still, still wet. So I'm going to let them roll just like that for now. We'll check them in about an hour and see if we need to spritz them. Okay, we're three hours in. 
They look like they could use a little bit of a spritz. And a little bit of a... Got a little beef au jus in there. They're looking really good. Look at that. Good, we'll be back. All right, at the four hour mark, I forgot to check my pellets. So we're about four and a half hours in. Look at that. Still got a little bit of pellets, but we do not want to run out. <laughs> right, so I'm going to add some more. It's a Bear Mountain bourbon pellets. Close the lid, we're good for another four or five hours. We are about six hours and about 45 minutes. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, they're almost off of these bones. <laughs> Which is okay. Let me just uh, take a quick temp check. Looks like we're about 178 on that one. There, oh my goodness, that just goes right in there. So tender 179 on that one so they still got a little ways to go I'm just gonna add a uh, spritz them again and uh, we'll be back on a pan and wrap them in foil. Look at this. This bone is just about ready to fall right off. These are going to be so tender. Just the probe tenderness. I mean, it just goes right in. There is no resistance whatsoever. So let me get these wrapped off. We're going to wrap up. We're going to let these rest 20 to 30 minutes and cut into them. Almost eight hours. I mean, this lasts, what, three and a half hours or so? Look at that. Probably used seven, seven and a half pounds pellets. Pretty good. Okay, here they are. Look at these short ribs. That meat just shrunk right up. But honestly, that is a lot of meat right there. And this one here is falling off the bone. Look at that. Don't these look, I mean, uh, I can't wait to try them. I'm gonna cut into this one right here. Get a hold of it. Oh my goodness, that is like cutting through butter. No, I'm not kidding. That honestly was like cutting through butter. Look at that. Look at that. Juicy. There's a nice smoke ring in there. Nice bark for sure. Look at this. I'm going to cut this up. I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to do a taste test for you. Okay. Told you five to eight hours seven hours and 45 minutes I let them rest for about 20 minutes now what do you think about the cutting off of that little piece I brought that out here with me look at that I know it's hard to see in this light it is so tender oh mm. oh my god literally melts in your mouth that meat church, holy cow, with the, all that pepper. Uh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man. Now, 250 degrees for nearly eight hours. If you don't want to wait that long, you could do these at 275, 300. Cut your uh, cooking down, time down between five and eight hours. But just be prepared if you're going to do short ribs. Give yourself at least eight hours. If you go 225, you might go nine hours. But uh, anyway... These are, this is so good. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm. Okay. We're going to serve these up with some potatoes, some corn, maybe a salad. Anyway, it's been a long day waiting. I'm going to get inside and go uh, eat these up. It's so good. So flavorful. Give it a try. If you get a chance, you know, I said we couldn't get uh, short ribs here where I'm at. We can get short ribs, but they're literally about that long. They take the word short literally instead of like the blade rib, you know, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyway, we'll be doing those dino ribs sometime soon. 
Thanks for watching. Come on back. We got more great cooks. Have a great night.